What's up guys, Crazy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some awesome Cinema 4D text. And this is the general idea of what it's going to look like. I'm actually going to change it a little bit. I'm going to add a little glow around everything. And it makes it look a lot nicer. And I like it a lot better, quite frankly. So, let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> and, alright, so I already set up my text here. I just bought in the logo for Dare, make it, made it say Dare. Uh, this font is Dreadworks, spelled like this. And yeah, so I already drug everything in, so I'm just gonna select all this, and I'm gonna make the caps, fillet, ca fillet caps, fillet caps, radius one for. Uh, the start and the end and the important part here is you want to go down to type and go to quadrangles and you'll get lines like this around all the curved parts like right there on the dare and then you want to click regular grid and it'll give a grid to everything and you can also change how big the grid is here with the width but I'm gonna just stay with 10 and yeah so after you do that do that if you have text like I do here what you're gonna do is right click, make edible, and go through this and just drag the nerbs off and delete the rest. And I'm gonna combine the their logo here and name that the D. Alright, so you get that. And I'm just gonna focus. Oh crap, I forgot one thing. Mm, go back to your nerves, make sure it's 200. Alright, so yeah. And alright, I'm gonna focus on the D part of this, so I'm just gonna hide all these and just focus on the D. And I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna drag it texture. And this light room I'm using is Trone. Trone's Lightroom, Trone Design, and I'll probably put a link to his channel or the Lightroom in the description, along with Griebler, which is what the effect that we're going to be using. So, yeah. But, alright, so you added your texture, and um, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this and get rid of the texture so you have two of these, and just leave that one there for now. And then the most important part of this is the Griebler, and that's what you're going to add next. So I'll click Griebler, and the original one, uh, you're going to drag that on there. And it should immediately give you this cool looking look. And what you're going to want to do is go to uh, the base and make the height minimum 3 and the height maximum 5 the bevel minimum 3 and the max 5 so you should get like get something that looks like this as soon as it renders and yeah you can kind of see it's like square like some uh, stick out farther than that than others and it has a really cool look and then it has a bunch of random greebles along with it. It makes it look really nice and I like it a lot. So yeah, but you're not quite done yet with the uh, text there. What you're wanna, gonna wanna do is take this other uh, uh, letter, in my case the D, and you're gonna go to this logo, the add array object, and go to atom array. And since we have one, two, four letters, you're gonna wanna make four of these and just drag that D on one. And you should get a bunch of little balls around this and uh, on to the logo. And you wanna get a glowing texture. And uh, in Tron Studio, he does not have a glowing texture, and I just made one real quick by adding glow to that, so I don't know how good this is gonna look. But you're gonna add that to the Atom Array. And you wanna click the Atom Array. You're gonna do this for all of them. And you're gonna make this sphere radius about two. And you can just change that to however you like. I like using two. So I'm gonna render this out. I'm actually gonna pause this and come back when it's done, because it might take a little longer. 
Alright, so you're gonna get something that looks like this. And this is a pretty nice looking uh, logo, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, but what I like to do is I like to add a cube. I'm just gonna get a cube, drag it up behind said logo, and I uh, believe it was 260. 260, 250, and 100, and then segments you want to make 25 each, and you really don't have to worry about the Z logo in many cases, but I'm gonna, just for tutorial purposes, and then you're just gonna want to drag this back behind your logo or said text, and you want to make copy of this for each letter. So I'm gonna bring that one behind the A, this one behind the all. And this one behind the E. And for right now, they can overlap because we will be moving around. And I'm just going to hide these three for now. And you're going to want to take this cube, duplicate it. Uh, and then you're going to take the texture, put it on one of them. Take that textured one. Put it in the greeble, and so you should have your D in the cube in the greeble, and then oh, actually I'm gonna have to duplicate a bunch of other atom arrays and add a cube to an atom array and add the glowing texture to the atom array, and now this should make the square glow and also have greeble and the 25 that I made, the 25 segments we made on the queue is like the same width as the squares that's going to be on the logo so it's ma it matches so that's why that was the purpose of that so we're going to render this out and I'll be back when it finishes for you guys to see alright so we're back and this is what it looks like and quite frankly it looks pretty good and I mean, you could just center this and tweak it a little bit and you could just use this as your background logo but that's not what I'm going to be showing you guys so uh, what you're going to want to do next is you want to click control and click D and the cube and you're going to want to rotate this a little bit and I forgot some alright I'm going to rotate this up Rotate this in, and there's this like board. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for that. And um, now you just want to do that to each one of your uh, letters here, and uh, you should get some pretty nice text. So I'm gonna pause it and finish this out and show you what your finished product should look like. And yeah, so be back. Alright guys, I'm back, and this is what the final text turned out like. Uh, this side kind of got dark because I, I meant to move it over and kind of make it smaller because this side got dark too, but I forgot. So the sides came out kind of dark, but if you get it all in the light area, it looks really good. And I think this text is pretty good. I kind of probably could have arranged it better, like the turn in and stuff, but yeah, you guys got the general idea. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, if you do, please click the like button uh, and give me some ideas for other tutorials. And yeah, thanks and peace.